you were good friends with Diana, what would she think of Meghan Markle? Well, she's not too happy about it because she thinks it's going to end in disaster. Simone claims to speak to Diana from beyond the grave. She says she and Diana used to meet at Kensington Palace five times a week and played for me some of the many phone messages Diana left for her. Diana, I'm in a meeting, I'm in a meeting for another hour. All went very, very well at lunch, and I'll tell you when I've finished my meeting here. Anyway, lots of love. Bye. Diana's psychic tells me the late princess is concerned that Harry's marriage to Meghan will create a lot of pain. She doesn't want to see him hurt because he won't be able to cope with that level of emotion and distress. So she thinks that Meghan will hurt him? Yes. In what way? She thinks that um, a few years down the line, Meghan, well, she'll get very bored with Harry. She's going to have eyes for somebody else. Simone believes Meghan is more in love with the spotlight than she is with her prince. She's not really looking into Harry's eyes and sinking in like William and Kate did. Harry, you can see, is totally beguiled. She looks at her diamond ring all the time. Do you think Harry and Meghan will have children? Yes. How many? They're definitely going to have one, possibly two. Simone showed me some of the affectionate cards the Princess of Wales sent her and claims Diana is watching over her grandchildren, little George, Charlotte, and Louis. She's quite happy she goes and talks to the children. The children think she's like a little angel. She adores them. Oh. But Simone believes Harry should heed the advice Diana is giving him. She would have said, Harry, protect that heart of yours. Mommy doesn't want to see you hurt at all. Now, one other interesting point from Simone. She believed that if Harry's mom and dad, Diana and Charles, had married just five years later, that they still might be together today.